Hello and welcome to the 43rd video in this series of videos programmer chess engine in C. So a couple of things to do in this video. I'd like you to uncomment the take move that was commented out on line 236 of the make move if you're typing exactly the same code as I was. And please add the definitions for take move and make move as external functions like here in the defs.h. The next step is to add perft.c perft.c file to the project and add it also into the make file in this way and I've included defs.h in perf.c. So once you've done that we need to go into vice.c and you can see here that I've passed the start fen generated all the moves into a move list and I've got a couple of integers here. So what we're going to do in this is simply loop through the moves and make and unmake them and print the resulting board. So I'm just going to paste the code in here and create our for loop to loop through the loop. Uh, sorry, loop through the moves. So it should be fairly self-explanatory from previous videos. We go from naught up to one less than the count of the moves because everything's zero indexed, and then we query at this move num the move from the array of moves and store that as an integer in here. And then what we're going to do, and this is what's new, is we're going to call some th say something called if not make move. And you remember that make move returns false if the move is illegal. That's this section here. We take it back and return false. So if not make move, then continue. So if he was searching in uh, a position and do a th and, and traversing a, a search a get a, a tree of moves and making and unmaking then we would not search any further or do anything with this move because it was illegal we would just continue to the next move in the list otherwise the move was illegal I uh, was legal sorry and what we're going to do now is simply print the move to the screen that we've made and print the board and then very simply take the move back and print the board and one last thing we'll do here is print the board before we start the move loop and I'll also put a get car in here just so that I can show you move by move okay so once you've got all that code in then fire up the console and type make and now let's do vice and we can see the printout of the starting position here with the position key as 4C77 blah 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 blah. Now if I press enter you can see now that we've made A2, A3, the position key has changed, the side's now black and the pawn's here. And now we take it back and the side's back to white, the position key's back to the original key and the board pieces are all as they were before. And now you can see that a2, a4 has been made, so the ampersand square is set, the key is different again, and here it's been taken back, side and everything is correct. So if I now just press enter a few times, I'm sure you can see up here the various moves being made and taken back, including the last knight moves, and there we have it. So looping through the moves, we can be fairly sure that our make and unmake and move generator are working. However, this isn't the way really to test whether your move generator is actually working properly or not. Better way to test whether your move generator is working is to use something called perfed testing, which is why we've added this perfed.c into the project for the next video when we actually build our perfed function. And the way perfed works is, is if you imagine we've got this red dot as a starting position, and in that starting position we can make two moves and when we make say the first move we reach this position here and in that position let's say we can also make two moves so we make the first position move and we reach this position and for this position we can also make so it's a binary basically you can always make two moves in each position and we reach this if we did all of the possible moves stopping at each grey dot this would be known as what is a perfed to depth three it means doing every possible move to a given depth and the result of it is the count of what are called the leaf nodes so those are the positions visited 
at the bottom of the tree. So this would be a perf to depth 3 and the number of leaf nodes would be 8. The number of total nodes would be 14. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So a perf to depth 2 will give you 4 leaf nodes with 6 total visited. Now very handily in the chess community there has been a file produced which is made up of 126 positions and for these positions you're given the node count, the leaf node count for every depth up to depth 6th and that may not sound like a lot but if you take simply the starting position at this top line by the time you hit depth 6 you've already got 119 million leaf nodes and the second position in this file which is a particularly famous one for catching most bugs in move generation by the time you hit depth 6 you've got 800 and or eight, oh my goodness, I think you've got 8 billion nodes there that you need to visit to cover all of the possible moves in the tree which also gives you an idea of why chess is and at the moment anyway and for certainly the foreseeable future and so unsolvable and then not only have you got a particularly tricky position here but you've got lots of positions that test out the castling and promotion and it's normal to write a function or we're to write a function in the chess engine we won't in this one but it's a good idea to write a function which walks through every one of these positions and searches to the depth 6 which takes a long time to make sure that the move generation and unmake and make are bug free and if it passes this test you can safely assume that they are so what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to write a small perfed function but one that simply takes a position that we paste in to the code before typing make and then we'll run it on a couple of positions so you can see the leaf node scores we get so that's it for this video then next video we'll actually get started with the perf testing Thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.